RazyMikeSaps.com with an iPad app video demo for RightPad for iPad. This advanced note-taker app has a boatload of features including create, edit documents, handwriting recognition, lots of custom settings, syncs with most major cloud services such as Dropbox, and much more. As we get into this note-taking application, RightPad for iPad is all about using handwritten text and typed text to create unique notes. Now, I'm writing with a stylus, but you can use your finger. I'm creating a to-do list. It says week one. It's converted into type text immediately after I'm done. There's a little bit of a delay, and that's how this app works. Now, tap on the wrench left of center. Those are the different paper styles, font colors, and styles that are available. Just tap on one. It will change immediately. You can also tap on the plus sign in styles and create your very own. Your own font style, size, text color, paper color, as well as ink color. Once you're done, select it. The page will tear away, and your new style will have been implemented in the upper left. You can see that now. Crazy Mike's app style. It's bold and it's got a little bit of a different flair. Now tap on the wrench. You can do a variety of other things. You can insert contacts into your notes, create events into your calendar, get the GPS location for where your notes taken, translate it. There's a spell checker and auto capitalize. Lots of stuff. Next door to the wrench is a share button and you can see the variety of things you can share socially through PDFs and email like so. And this app also supports cloud syncing with Dropbox, Box, and a variety of other cloud services. Now also on the far left you can tap on the files and you can see all of your documents and tap on the plus sign in the upper left to create a new document. The navigation on the top right are all the different ways you can input text. Currently this is lined which is the pencil symbol in the upper right. This is actually the yellow box where you can write the text in the bottom. There's a variety of ways to edit it, undo, redo. There's a spell checker. There's a different fonts or numbers that you can input, a backspace to delete a letter, and also you can tap enter and it will go where the cursor was on the page. Now this is the type pad pulls up using the far right symbol and also there's a shorthand method which you can actually use these different shorthands by writing them and circling them and it will automatically input whatever it is. So if you have date and you circle it, the date will automatically be put in and you can customize those as well. Now it doesn't recognize brush dog's teeth, but that's also part of the way this app works is it has to understand and get to know your handwriting and it may take a little time. You can customize that as well by importing words into the dictionary and other things like that. Now this app works very easy, was very easy to use, and recognize the result is part of the way it learns your handwriting. There are a load of options, there is a great help button on the bottom right which is a question mark, it will really help you to understand how to use this app, but I was up and running using it pretty quickly. WritePad for iPad can be downloaded using the link below in the description, it's also available for the iPhone, Android, and Kindle Fire devices. This has been Crazy Mike from CrazyMikesApps.com, until next time, see ya.